Hello everybody and thanks for joining us for another Whitfield's Food Review. Today we are having Church's Texas Pete. And ironically, the Church's was across the street from a church. Hmm. But this is something we wanted to try a really long time ago and they advertised it on their website. So we went to go get it three different times and they didn't have it. So I actually called the district office and asked them what the deal was, why they were advertising in our local area of having it. And he said that it was just a test market thing and they, we had the honey barbecue or something like that. So I just thought this was never gonna happen. I even did an intro for it and I ended up changing the intro and reusing it for an A1 where the A1 gets shot and it looks like it's bleeding. Yeah, I did that with Texas Pete originally and I had no use for it. If I find out, I might throw it on here at the end of this. So I'm very excited that our local churches now carries it texas pete wings um this came to three dollars and 74 cents for five wings just the wings but that's not bad so without further ado mm, tender Woo. that is loaded with spice oh that's oh, i like that that seasoning on there is real good. Mm -hmm. Well, first of all, the chicken is ridiculously tender. The breading is so flaky. Mm -hmm. It almost kind of has like that little twinge to it, like the um, the um, KFC chicken had a little bit at the end. Like the Nashville? Mm -hmm. Meaty wings. Look at the size of this thing. Um, some have a lot more of the Texas Pete than others. I'm thinking the ones that don't probably aren't going to have any seasoning. I think all of the flavor of the Texas Pete comes in the little burst right here but it's really tasty when you get a bite of that. Mm. Pretty hot, not crazy. It's about the same as the Nashville hot, yeah. which isn't that hot, but it was hotter than I thought it was gonna be. It's weird, because I wouldn't necessarily, I've had Texas Pete many times. I wouldn't have thought this was Texas Pete. I wouldn't have immediately been like, oh, that's Texas Pete. Because it's like Texas Pete in powder form. But now having had this, if there were a Texas Pete um, dry rub or some sort of seasoning you could buy, I would absolutely buy, because this is great. Because it, it has the, the heat, and the tartness and the vinegary quality that you associate with hot sauce or specifically Texas Pete. Look at the size of that thing. Holy crap. Those are beefed up chickens, man. They're working out. We ha we've had Popeye's spice packed wings. We've had Popeye's pepper barrel. We've had, of course, KFC's new Nashville hot. And then now Church's Texas Pete. Okay. Well, I, a lot of people have been asking us to redo a review for KFC because there were some components missing. One, we did the tenders and not the regular. Uh, and we didn't get any pickles, but it seems like no one got the pickles. So we might do that this week. It, let us know if you want us to try the KFC one again, but rather than tenders do on the bone. But in the meantime, I like this one better. I like it better. We like this one a lot, a lot better actually. That I mean, it's really flavorful, really tasty, and a lot of meat. A lot of juices. With that, we're gonna have to give churches Texas Pete chicken wings. 4.5 out of 5. Little lasso Texas Pete guys, of course. That's what we give this. We give this 4.5 little hoot and holler in Texas guys. And we hope you guys are staying warm during this very frigid time. Stay warm with some hot Texas Pete. You're welcome, churches. <laughs> Just gave you a free commercial. So thank you for watching. Please, everyone, like, favor, subscribe. We love hearing from you. And we look forward to eating more with you. Until next time.